Hello and welcome to this video on ISO preparation. This is how to draw a nice graph. So you can see I've drawn my axis on my graph here. Um, you need to use as much of the graph paper as you can. We want nice big um, axes. Don't draw me a teeny tiny little graph down here in the corner because that's not going to get you the marks. We want nice big graph um, taking up lots of the paper and you see I've uh, labelled my axis down here so this is distance from the start to the catchery and I've got my units in centimetres and upside it is time taken for primrose to get the catchery and I put my units in seconds. Um, now when you are thinking of titles for your axis make sure they're really descriptive don't just put time up here because that could be time to make a cup of tea, it could be time to walk from my classroom to the staff room. You have to tell me time of what, otherwise I don't know. And you've got to put your units, seconds and centimetres down here. So I'm going to plot the graph for the data that we had before. So this is the data we had before. Um, you can see how to draw a lovely table and how to work out averages in the videos that came before this. So at 10 seconds, it was 18.6 at uh, sorry 20 centimeters it was 32.5 at 30 centimeters it was 40.3 40 centimeters 56 50 centimeters was 60 and then you need to get a ruler I do not suggest using a metre rule in your exam, um, but that's all I've got available. And you're going to want to draw a line of best fit. Now you can see these are in a pretty straight line, so I'm going to put my ruler here and join up these ones. Like that. And you can see that four of the points are very close to the line, and this one here isn't very close to the line. So what I'm going to do is draw a circle around that one, put an arrow and label that an anomaly. There you go, that is a lovely graph for your ISA.